Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about the four bearing and back bearing. More specifically, I will be teaching the calculation of back bearing when the four bearing is given to us. So let's have an idea that what is four bearing and back bearing. We know the standard directions. Let's say that we have a line that lies in northeast quadrant. The starting point is A, ending point is B. So then the bearing that is being obtained by placing the instrument at point A will be the bearing of AB or you can say four bearing. And bearing that is being obtained by placing the instrument at point B and then calculating the bearing of BA line would be the back bearing. Now let's discuss how we can calculate the bearing of BA line or back bearing if the four bearing or bearing of AB line is given to us. So in order to understand the calculation of back bearing, we should be knowing the basic concepts of geometry. That is, if we have two parallel lines and the third line cuts through that. So if this angle is theta, so this angle will also be theta. Similar is the case here. Let's say that the bearing of AB line is theta. So then this angle, the angle that is being represented with the red line will also be theta. And we know that the angle from north to south will be 180. Therefore, the bearing of BA will be simply the addition of bearing of AB plus 180. So if you know the bearing of AB, then the bearing of BA can be calculated by simply adding 180 with the bearing of AB line. This is the case when the line AB lies in northeast quadrant. Now let's discuss if the line lies in southeast quadrant, then how we can calculate its back bearing. Let's say the starting point is A, ending point is B. So let's consider the bearing of AB as theta and then the bearing of BA will be this one. So we want to calculate the bearing of BA, the back bearing. And let's consider that the angle from south to the line AB is alpha. Again, using the basic concept of geometry, that is if we have two parallel lines, if a third line cuts through that, then if this angle is alpha, so then this angle will also be alpha. Similar is the case here. If this angle is alpha, so then this angle will also be alpha. Now how this concept of geometry can help us in calculating the back bearing of AB line. The bearing of AB line is given, which is theta. We want to calculate the bearing of BA line. So in order to calculate the bearing of BA line, we should be knowing the value of alpha. So from here we can see that the addition of theta and alpha would be equal to 180. So if you want to calculate alpha which will not be known because we just know the value of theta which is the bearing of AB. So then alpha would be equal to 180 degree minus theta. So once alpha has been calculated, we know that the total angle in a complete circle is 360. If we subtract alpha from 360, that will give us the bearing of BA line. So then the bearing of BA will be simply the subtraction of alpha from 360 degree. Moving to another case in which the line lies in southwest quadrant, that is, let's say that the starting point is A, ending point is B, and the bearing of AB is given, let's say that is theta, and we are being asked to calculate the back bearing of AB, or we can say the bearing of BA line. So then this will be the bearing of BA line, or we can say alpha is the back bearing of AB line. So we want to calculate this alpha. So in order to calculate this alpha, using the same concept of geometry, if this angle is alpha, so this angle will also be alpha and we again know that the angle from north to south is 180 so we are being given with the bearing of ab which is theta and we want to calculate alpha so we know that from here that theta is actually the addition of 180 degree plus alpha so alpha can be calculated as the subtraction of theta from 180 and which is the back bearing of ab line or we can say the bearing of ba line so this is how the bearing is being calculated when the line lies in southwest quadrant. In the last, if we are being given as a line that lies in northwest quadrant and the starting point and then the ending point are same again, A and B, the bearing of AB line is given to us. Let's say that is theta and we want to calculate the bearing of BA line. So this angle is required. So let's consider that the angle from south to the BA line is alpha. So again, using the basic concept of if this angle is alpha, so this angle will also be alpha. 
so from here we can say that the addition of theta and alpha will give us 360 degree and if we want to calculate alpha then we need to subtract theta from 360 so once we have got alpha so then the bearing of ba can be calculated that is the bearing of ba plus alpha would be equal to 180 because that will make the angle from north to south and if you want to calculate the bearing of ba then we simply subtract alpha from 180 so that will give us the bearing of ba line so this is how the back bearing of different lines can be calculated the four bearing of the lines are given to us this is the case when all those bearings are given in whole circle bearing system and we have discussed each of the case when the line lies in northeast quadrant, southeast quadrant, southwest quadrant and northwest quadrant. So this is all from this video. I hope to see you in coming videos. Thank you for watching this video.